Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I'm just doing this really fun page with baby goats on it, and I'm being a little cheeky here. God loves all his kids. If you don't know, baby goats are sometimes referred to as kids. And I'm journaling this story in the Gospel of Mark where Jesus interacts with children. And I consider myself one of those kids that he's interacting with, and I hope that you do as well. So I'm going to be working in my single column journaling Bible. This is my ESV Bible. And I've been doing some art and some sketching kind of on my own off camera. Some of it I'm sharing over on my other channel. You can subscribe to that channel through the link in the description box below. But one thing I was practicing sketching out were these little baby goats and I was just having a great time sketching them. And I thought it would be so cute and fun just to add these into the margin of my Bible somewhere. And instantly I knew where to put them in this story of Jesus interacting with the children. So as I continue to sketch here, I've sped it up just, you know, you might not be interested in these pencil sketches and they're a little bit hard to see on camera anyways. So I sped them up, but let me read you the story here as I'm sketching from Mark 10 verse 13 through 15. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. And that's my prayer for myself. That's my prayer for you. May we just receive that blessing that Jesus offers to us when we just draw close to him. He holds us. He blesses us. He shares good things with us. What an amazing God to come in human form and interact with us humans and interact with the littlest humans of all, the children, who in some of these cultures were kind of viewed as insignificant when compared to maybe the man of the house. Um, just like women, women and children, Jesus really loves them so much. And I love that about Jesus, that he's pro-woman and pro-child. And I just want to be that way in my life as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on this tip in a little bit. I was just using this embroidery tool, this shiny plastic tool to sort of measure out what size I wanted my tip in to be on the page. And I know that I wanted to write these words, God loves all his kids. And it kind of reminds me of that Jesus Loves the Little Children kids church song that I grew up singing about all the different colors of the world and how he loves them all. And I just love that sentiment. And I love that he doesn't discriminate on socioeconomic status or age or anything. He doesn't care. He just loves all of his kids. So much love for us in the heart of God. Taking a minute here, and I'm mostly erasing my sketching now before I go in with colored pencil. And that just means that there will be a little bit less pencil marks and pencil lines to see in the finished project if you kind of mostly erase it before you start adding color. And I decided to go ahead and make each one of these goats look a little bit different. So the one at the top here is going to be golden brown and I'm just going in and alternating between darker colors to give some depth and shadow and lighter colors. And you guys, baby goats are really fuzzy. I was Google imaging baby goats, which is just a joy. If you ever need a lift up in your spirits, just go to Google and enter baby goats and watch all the baby goat videos and look at all the baby goat photos. They're so cute, but they're so shaggy. They're just fluffy and fuzzy when they're this young. And so this was really fun just to get to add a little bit of texture on these guys here. Now I am using my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and alternating between those and my Veritas colored pencils. Both of those are linked in the description box below along with everything else I use. If you're curious or need more information about them, you can click those links and read about all the details. But again, I'm just celebrating this spirit that Jesus has about him where he loves children. He loves, I think, silliness. He loves bouncing around. He loves singing and joy and worship and coming into his presence with gladness. All of these things I see 
in the word of God and all of these things I see in the character of God and the person of Jesus. I just love him so much and I'm so thankful for the way that he loves all of us. Now the second little guy here, I wanted him to look like a little white goat. And the funny thing is that in the reference photo I was using when I was sketching this guy, he actually has his little pink tongue sticking out the side of his mouth but I couldn't really sketch it successfully without it looking fake and it wasn't fake it was real he had his little tongue sticking out the side of his mouth but I couldn't pull it off so this little white goat here he just has the cutest little attitude and I just love him I just love how Jesus probably enjoys looking down from heaven and seeing all his little kids acting silly, making mistakes, am I right? Yet he still forgives us. Finally, this third little goat down here is going to be kind of cream colored, and then he's going to have some brown splotches on his body in various places and little brown boots on, and he's just the cutest thing ever. So I hope that you try this out in your Bible. If you're interested in seeing me create a Goats in My Bible traceable template, a printable template for you and tossing it over in my Etsy store. Let me know. I'm not sure how many people think that baby goats are as cute as I think they are, but if this is something that you're enjoying and that you would like to add to your own Bible, let me know and I'm happy to make a traceable and throw that over in my Etsy store for a couple dollars and you can add these cute little kids in your Bible as well. So I am going and just adding a little bit of lining around the edge of these goats just to make them stand out a little bit more on the page. It's tricky when they're white or cream colored. It's kind of tricky because it's on a white cream colored page. So I'm just adding a little bit of lining around the edges just to really show how shaggy and fluffy they are at this age. And they're not perfect, you guys. But that's okay. That's not what Bible journaling is about. It's not about creating perfection. It's about spending time with the Lord in his presence, worshiping him. Worship is something I've been missing during this time of quarantine. The county where I live, we're starting to open up again, and that's great, but I look forward to the day where we can worship as we used to in large groups of people surrounded by your friends and your family, just lifting the name of Jesus up musically. That's something I'm missing, and I'm looking forward to that soon. I went through on my letters here and just added an extra line to some of the downstrokes, and this is just going to help the words not get lost once I insert this into my Bible. So I'm just very simply going to fold a little flap at the top, and I fold it both ways just so that the tip-in is able to fold up and down and be a little flexible. And then I am just using a simple Elmer's glue stick here to stick it right at the top of the page. All my text is still readable, which is a good thing because I realized I hadn't underlined the portion of scripture yet that I am talking about. And again, this is Mark 10 verses 13 through 16, just a very short glimpse of how Jesus interacted with children while he was on the earth. I did a little bit of prayer journaling right at the bottom there, just inviting Jesus to come rescue us and be good to his kids. I hope that we can all recognize him. Now this other page over there is available as a video on my channel, so be sure to check that out. And I also created a playlist of all my videos that have anything to do with animals in my Bible. So be sure to check out my playlist. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you just think baby animals are one of the cutest things God ever created. I sure love them and I hope you do too. And I hope that you get a chance today to jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. If you try this in your Bible or any other creative, artistic journaling, jump over to Facebook and join our community there. We are sharing the Word of God with one another and encouraging one another. You can check out my new channel by clicking on that circle there. And I hope that you will join me over there as I share my art journey as well. It's imperfect, but... So are all of us. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.